So there's a lot of smoke in it, more than in a typical Johnny Walker. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and here is Ben, my son. Today we're tasting the newly published Island Green from Johnny Walker. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a normal Johnny Walker with the Johnny Walker label and it's uh, pretty yeah, green <laughs> and it's the, the Island Green. And what's special about it is that it's more intense than the normal green. It's, um, it's the Island Edition, so this time they're focusing a bit more on the smoky part. So on the back, the smoky malts blend. Officially, it's a 43% ABV, that's 86 proof whiskey, and it's a blended malt scotch whiskey. That means it's blended from different distilleries, and it's a malt whiskey. So there's only malt whiskey in there. There's no grain whiskey in there. So I would expect a bit of more of a, a complex malty whiskey. I don't know. Yeah, I tasted the green label few weeks ago and uh, there had been a green label on the market for quite a long time 15 years old and it was quite popular and then Johnny Walker decided uh, not to continue that mm -hmm. bottle so uh, connoisseurs were very much yeah disappointed un <laughs> unpleased <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then after several years uh, the new Gen Johnny Walker green 15 years uh, came up on the market it was I think nearly twice the price than before uh, and uh, I had the chance to taste against each other and the new one was more intense. Uh, it was also a blended malt whiskey, a complete malt whiskey from several distilleries and most of them came from the, well, from the space side and uh, uh, Cardew as home of the Johnny Walker, of course, and Kleinlich from the East Coast as well. And I think Craig and Moore was in, and, and the fourth one, uh, Dilohain. Yeah, Th there's a lot written on the back here, so um, just just skip over it here, giving added prominence to Kalilla. So there's Kalilla in there. Mm -hmm. um, the smoky maritime malt balanced with robust, fruity Highland malts, including Kleinlish, uh, lighter lowland malts represented by Glen Kinchy, sweet and fragrant Speyside style of Cardew. So these are the four distilleries um, inside the whiskey. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So Johnny Walker uh, starts to bring out more and more uh, intense whiskies. I had already the 12 year old black label here on the cask and beside it the double black uh, which also carries no age statement any longer and is more intense because of the younger whiskies. Mm -hmm. And this one also does not show an age statement on it. So uh, we can expect a more intense uh, whiskey than the green and the island green uh, promises uh, smokiness and the Kalila uh, inside as well. Um, unfortunately, it's colored. Mm. It's, it's of course chill filtered because most of this whiskey will be savored over ice and not neat. Yeah, it's it's mainly for the mass consumer market and the one liter bottle is usually for the travel value for when you travel by by plane and you have a layover and you just get into one of these duty free shops and you get one of the bottles. But I have to say I traveled quite some time and I always carry a laptop and that kind of stuff with me. So if I pack that into my to my briefcase that would just break my back so, uh, yeah, so this one is I'm heavy. with mail order so if you're in the US <laughs> sorry you can't have mail order but we do uh, like our mail order it has a very thick bottom so yeah, yeah it shows a, a heavy <laughs> valuable uh, uh, bottle uh, uh, so you can't but knock, not very knock, practical you can't <laughs> knock it over <laughs> that easily uh, <laughs> when you're drunk <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Don't drink to get drunk. Drink, drink it because it's tasty. Uh, so there's a lot of smoke in it, more than in a typical Johnny Walker? Yeah, definitely. It's a, a mixture between sweetness and smokiness. Mm -hmm. Smokiness hit me first and then... It, it's not 
as strong as an Isla malt where mm-hmm. where the smokiness hides so many things and you really have to dig into deeper to get something else out of it. Here you get there's some some uh, coolness in it. Mm-hmm. It's not the alcoholic coolness and a bit uh, of pepper and spiciness in the back. So it, it shows there's more to come. Huh? And for me, something something deeper. Of the, I don't know if it's a bit of a ham flavor or I don't know. Some, <laughs> can't quite defi- define it quite well, but umami, umami. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's, cheers. Mm. Mm. Start, starts quite slow. Yeah, starts mild. <laughs> mm-hmm. A little watery. <laughs> and then uh, spiciness. <laughs> and <through>. smoke. <laughs> mm-hmm. The smoke, it's not from the beginning. First was a bit watery, smooth, soft, and then you have a steep increase in smoke. So there's a lot of smoke in there. So I would suggest a high proportion of Kalila, of high smoky Kalila. And the, uh, the taste of... Of smoke uh, is not going linear with the content. Mm. So if you double uh, the amount of smoky whiskey into a blend, then you will only gain 10% more of smokiness just feel. So mm. it might be just 10-15% Kalila, which might be enough for this uh, smokiness. Might be. Um, the, this, there's some smoothness behind, which might be uh, the, um, the Glen Kinchy. Uh, which is not selling so many uh, single malt whiskies, so Glenkinji has to produce for the mass market. Cardu is always short in supplies, mm-hmm. and uh, Kalila as well. So Kleinlich and uh, Glenkinji should bring most of the uh, basic uh, into the whiskey. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's interesting how I never had a Johnny Walker with that kind of smokiness in here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's yeah it's it doesn't it doesn't quite get to the Kalila but it does have a dominant smokiness it's definitely a smoky whiskey mm, it's and spicy it's, extremely spicy spicy in, in the, the middle taste, and in the middle yeah the aftertaste is a bit sweet and a, a little a little hint of of chocolatey bitterness chocolatey mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know yeah. Mm. So nice. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video interesting, then please share it with your friends. And uh, if you come onto our website in our forum, you can now log in with your YouTube or your Google account or your Facebook account. And so it's very easy, just two clicks and you are logged in. And then you can chat with us and we will answer all your questions. Let's let's say we could start a discussion about whether it's better to have a uh, a blended 100% malt or an age statement uh, non-malt whiskey. So mm-hmm. yeah, let's head o- uh, just head over to whiskey.com, start a discussion with us, and we will answer all your questions. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>